What's up guys? This is Ryan. This is a message for all of our new realtors. Janice, we're talking directly to you right now. This is about the whole process and what you can expect with the premium mortgage pre-approval process and how the whole timeline is going to work from the day we first contact your buyers all the way up until the day of closing. We start off with a soft fact finder. What we're going to do is we're not going to pull credit. What we're going to do is we're actually going to ask questions. It's going to help tell us whether or not the person should qualify before we pull their credit. What's their credit look like? What's their income look like? What do they have saved up? And what do their expenses look like? We do all this stuff first just to find out what their situation looks like. Second, we pull credit. That is to validate the information that they told us. We want to make sure that what they told us matches up with what the lenders are going to see. Come on in, Neil. Docs, pay stubs, W-2s, bank statements. This is the validation. What we want to do is we want to make sure that what they told us is actually true so that you're not spinning your wheels making offers on things that they don't qualify for. Nobody well, wants to show a house that you're never going to get paid. Exactly. You want to make sure they qualify. Now, one of the things we do very differently, a lot of mortgage brokers are going to say, hey, you qualify for a $300,000 house and $5,000 worth of taxes. That's okay, but what if they're looking in the city where the taxes aren't five grand? So what we try to do is we reverse engineer. We're going to give it based on a monthly payment number. You can then tell us, hey, they're looking in the counties where the taxes are going to be significantly higher or in the city where the taxes are lower. We're going to tell you what they qualify for from the monthly payment standpoint, and we'll tell you what the maxes they can go to, whether it's FHA or conventional. But what we're not going to do is give you a pre-approval that says, hey, they qualify for 300000 We do the pre-approval based on the offer. And the problem with that is that if we say it's $1,500, it means that you might be able to find a house for 400000 because the taxes are only $1,000 a year. It all depends on the payment. It doesn't matter that what, what they're buying and what the taxes are. It's the total payment, everything. Correct. Next, what we're going to look at is the contract, guys. So this is all preliminary stuff. So we can't put a timeline on that. I can tell you all of this can happen in 24 hours. If your buyer is organized and they have all their paperwork, this can all happen in 24 hours. I've done it in a half an hour. If they have everything right. together, you can. They, I've had borrowers call me on a Sunday night. They sent me everything and I send over, I call the realtor and say, well, how much do they want to be a pre-approved for? I don't know if Ryan explained this. We won't give you a pre-approval for 300 if you're buying a 250 house. It doesn't right. look good. It's We're not gonna, gonna give you a We want to keep the aces up your sleeve. Right. So this stuff is all preliminary. It could happen all in one day, depending on the borrower. Sometimes it takes two weeks, or depending on how organized they are, if they have the docs needed, all that stuff. Now, once we give the pre-approval, we go under contract. This is where you have to find a house. Once you go under contract, that's when the timeline starts. Now, these days can vary slightly, but this is a good estimate. Day number one, we get the contract. Boom, we start going to work. We assume that you're going to order the inspection as soon as you go under contract, because obviously you need to find out whether or not the house is worth buying or not. Next, the disclosures and conditional loan approval. Now, what's a conditional loan approval? Well, the conditional approval says based on, we run it through DU, Delegated Underwriting, and it'll tell us approve or not approve. So we will send over a conditional approval based on what they sent us. Yeah, so when you actually get the approval, that means we've run it and they're approved to buy the house. Once we have the conditional loan approval, it'll say, yes, they're approved to buy this house. Another term is mortgage commitment. They're approved to buy this house assuming they furnish this W-2 or that this is cleared up or hey, there's something that showed up on a credit report that they just want to clarify on. Typically, that is when this will happen. And we get that within three to five days. That's pretty, it used to be three days now because of all the refinancing. It's a little bit longer, but it's still three to five days. Once we get the conditional approval, that is when we typically will go and lock the rate and we'll tell you to order the appraisal. Why do we wait for the conditional loan approval? Because a lot of times you have to pay for the appraisal up front out of pocket. So we don't want to have you run into that expense if you're not going to be approved for the house or even if the mortgage or if the inspection comes back bad. Next, do you want to add to that? Well, well, no, that's true. I mean, I've had people say, well, why don't you order it immediately? We're still going to close on time. I promise you, if you have a 30 day or a 40, we will make that commitment. I guarantee. Typically, it's a week and a half to get your appraisal done and back and everything. Then you have your final CD. Once the final CD comes out and it is balanced. Now, this is one of those things where we have to work with the lender and the title company. They have to balance. Once everything is balanced and the CD goes out, 
it is three days from that point that we can actually close. That is why it's extremely important that when the CD goes out that we have to make sure that the clients sign the CD. Okay, so we are going to have a very hands-on approach once we get into these final things because we want to make sure that you guys all hit your timelines. The last thing is going to be the actual closing, in which case we will tell the borrowers exactly what they need to bring to settlement and we know exactly when and where we're going to have the settlement so they can buy the house. Also, the CD, the three days, people don't realize the day you sign counts as a day. That's it's day not one. like the three-day right of rescission on a refi. So if you sign on a Friday, it's Friday, Saturday, Monday, you can close Tuesday. Correct. Saturday counts. It doesn't count to close. In other words, you can't disperse on a Saturday, but it counts as a rescission day. So in this whole process, you're looking anywhere from 30 to 45 days. Again, a lot of this just depends on how quickly you're trying to settle. We can close loans in 30 days. We've closed loans in two weeks, depending on the situation. Depending on how fast the but It always depends the borrower getting us stocks. We right. ask for something, they, they need a bank statement, they have to go to the bank, or they need something, or they don't have their 18 W-2s or something. Everything, nine out of 10 times, it depends on the borrowers. Cool, so if you guys have any questions on that, if you'd like to learn more about that, contact us, let us know. We'll make sure to include a phone number in this when we send this out to you guys. We're here to help you. We're here to help take a lot of this off your hands. We wanna handle the money in the financial side. Your job is to find the property and negotiate the contract. Our job is to help get them approved and make sure that they get the closing on time so that we all make money and have a good time. Our job is to make you look good. Yes. Stay safe. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you later.